last episode I said, let's go to war with the Aztecs. Let's take some of their land. And you know what? That was greed. That was wrath. What we're actually going to do is go to war with these guys instead and take the whole of Africa. That's the ultimate goal of the campaign. Unite Africa under a single throug. Fuck Jerry King. I'm going to say it. I'm saying it now. Fuck Jerry King. We don't need this shit. We don't need Egypt being controlled by a pharaoh when we can have Eagle Throog. I, li I like this this rivalry between Throog and Jerry King. I'm trying to build this into the mythos. Can you tell? Right. Great Holy War for Africa. Is this a bad idea? Without a shadow of a doubt. 12,000 men he has. His neighbor also has 2,000 men. And then, of course, we have the biggest Abbasids I think I've ever seen. One of the biggest, anyway. With their 52,000 men. Is this a bad idea? Absolutely it is. But you know what? I think it's going to be pretty damn interesting. Let's go for it. Great Holy War for Africa. Worst case scenario, we take out a shit ton of... <laughs> for the canary-headed man, I like that. Uh, we are also the sword, by the way, of the canary-headed man, which is one of the two major gods of the Eagle Throog Pantheon. Um, the other being Dongo, and of course the great god being Throog herself, as it says in the uh, as it says in the great Throog um, dogma here. Hi God, Eagle Throog, God names, Irog Throog, and the canary-headed man, and then of course Dongo. How could I forget Dongo of all things? I always forget Dongo, don't I? He doesn't deserve this this treatment. Okay, let's. Head out, team. This is going to be a mess. Um, as I recall, aren't Great Holy War mechanics change now? So we don't actually take the provinces for ourselves. They just become like a separate Throogian kingdom. That would be terrible. I really hope that's not true. Oh, well. We want to win the wars anyway, so why not, eh? Let's go for it. How many men have I got? 37,000. Oh, no. Um, right. This may have been the world's biggest mistake, but you know what? It's a fun mistake. Let's get... You know what? Why don't I actually put these damn fleets down? Why don't we actually just set a rally point in the Canary Islands? Because how frequently do I raise boats only to send them over there? We might as well just keep it permanent. Um, I think you're the real traitor. Not that I really care that much about who is the real traitor and who isn't. Right, merge. Get on the boats. Let's send you guys to attack the capital. Now, this is the Kingdom of Africa, right? So, what we've got to do is get 100% war score. It's not an invasion. We don't have to worry about anything else. We've just got to win. Might be easier said than done, but hey-ho, let's give it a go. Now, we know with Eagle Throog becoming... What? Stone in the ways of the Germanic faith. Does he want to be burnt at the stake? Because it certainly sounds like it. Oh, my God. Everywhere I see a new abominable product of heresy. Uh, licentious poems, grotesque paintings, works of fiction, trivializing the tales of our holy texts. All activities must be overseen by the righteous. Um, you'll find a bloodline sooner rather than later. Lose, lose 750 gold. We gain inquisitorial raids. Oh, Jesus. Um, fuck it. I need the bloodline. I need the bloodline. I haven't had a bloodline yet. We made one in the last campaign with the, with the whole uh, warrior society one. This one, we haven't seen it. So we absolutely need it. I need to know how this shit works. Great. Good for you. Whatever. Classic. We're killing off the Aztec Emperor. And we're at 18% war score. And I haven't even done anything yet. Oh, my God. We're running out of money, though. Quick. Charge. Oh, God. We're losing our mercenaries. We get in the trait in the army shield because we are a glorious... Valiant ruler. Oh, God. All of our mercenaries are disbanding, which is terrible because we're about to get into a big old war. Right. Merge these troops together. Um, Blackguard will get just as... They're actually turning against me. Not not only that, they are turning against me. Right. Put the mercenaries down and get out. I don't want to I don't want to risk this. Okay. That puts us in a really bad scenario. Um, for hopefully obvious reasons because now we've only got 15,000 men. Uh, why not? It's not like we're fighting the entirety of the other How the fuck did we lose that? Oh, God, this is really bad. Damnation. We, we're failing to kill the Aztecs. Stand those boys down. Stand down. Stand down. Why are they not standing down? Stand. Th thank you. Right, stand down. Okay. We're going to have to take this slower. We're going to have to take it carefully. And we're going to have to not let our faith in Dongo waver. Because the first sign of Dongo wavering is when we're going to lose this war. Let's bring the troops all together on the center. All led by Igor, because that seems to be uh, an infallible strategy, which definitely didn't just fail 30 seconds ago. Did not drink the wine, but my complicity was discovered. Approve the plan. Kill him dead. 29% war score, though. Could be much worse. I think we've got too many boats raised right now. So I think we're going to put these boys down and actually try and earn some gold here and there. What the fuck? Oh, offer to join wars. Yeah, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Help me out. Welcome. Good lord, please help me. Please, for the love of God, everything's going so horribly wrong. Um, excellent. Well, let's threat to the establishment. We've killed the Aztec Emperor, which, to be fair, was kind of a threat to the establishment. Oh, God. Um, hurry. Run. Okay, they're at full morale, so this is dangerous. I'm not a big fan of it, but fuck it. Let's do it. Charge. We've done it. Whoo, sacrifice to Eagle Throog. Wait, we killed that entire army, and now we're at minus 2% war score. You can fuck off with that. What? Oh, my God, they hold my air prisoner. 
Yeah, absolutely. We'll ransom these fuckers back. Oh my god, that's so annoying. <sighs> or because we were like a minute too late. Can we go and free him? Can we go and siege down there, Captain, and free him? Let's do it. Right, this is going to be a, a hell of a difficult war. I knew that when we were going into it, right? I didn't expect this to be much of a serious war, but I kind of want to win it now. They've annoyed me, so I want to win it. Right, sort it down. Victory is ours. The Oh, we finally fallen to the mighty arms of the wrath of God. Haha, -ha, great. Uh, what's that done for us? Nothing. It's given us a tiny little bit of war score. Free the prisoners? If we control it, why can't we free my prisoners, though? Hello? Sir, I would like my... Wait, what is he? Suzerain of... Wait, he's... This guy's... Oh, this guy's his tributary. Right, okay. I thought it was the other way around them for a second. I was wondering how that was even possible. We need to tie this war up quickly before the Abbasids turn up, because that's when things are really going to go sour. Uh, tough soldier, misguided warrior, whatever. There's nothing I can do about that. They are in captivity. I mean, I can't just suddenly, you know, educate them better. She's... Oh, my God. Adventure threat as well. Get out. Plot to kill, right? Go on. Get, get, get out of here. Right, we can fight the Aztecs again. I've got to remember that for the future. Kill off these troops slowly but surely. That's it. Hey, resign an army that we're just about to go to war with. Brilliant. Unbelievable. Temperate or diligent? Neither. We got neither. Because who cares about that type of thing? Crapdass died in the dungeons. Was Crapdass not pretty crap though? Crapdass was not great. Um, Ogre is pretty good. We do want to play as Ogre. Um, I feel like Ogre was the best one we had, wasn't it? Oh, Rigo's... Actually, Rigo is probably better. Oh, man. It's kind of hard to say. They're both kind of crap. We didn't get good air this generation. Right. You guys can go as well. But get Eagle back on the center. Good lord. Eagle on the center. We died. A natural death. Before we even finished the bloodline. And now we've started as a character in prison. Good. I feel this has been a horrible mistake. Just a major mismanagement of everything. Um, ransom me out. Get me out of here. Right. We are no longer in charge of the Empire. We have failed. I failed in my duties. Um, this is horrible. This is actually horrible. Um, invest back into the campaign. Well, I'm sure we must have all the gold though, right? We don't even control the Canary Islands anymore. This is horrible. We've lost everything. <laughs> We've lost absolutely everything. Okay, understandable. Whatever. B peace be commanded. Yeah, whatever. You're going to die. Like, I'm I'm not standing for this. For I'm... <sighs> Republics. I, I, I just completely overlooked that side of things, eh? At least we've got a shit ton of gold. Who needs an empire when you've got a shit ton of gold? Right, we're converting this back into primogeniture. Get out. Republics are for idiots. I've decided I don't like playing as a republic anymore. Merchant port, done. Um, let's start building up, seeing as we can do fuck all else right now. Now, again, we do want to get ourselves re-elected naturally, which I think will be uh, easier said than done. That's going to require some assassination here and there. Trip us to Fez. Sure, go for that. I'm just going to upgrade all of these to keep our money going. If nothing else, we can sit around binding up our time and rebuilding so that we can reclaim the Throog Empire as a member of the House Throog. Um, does that mean we've lost our bloodline now? All that progress is just gone, eh? That's gone forever. Well, that's great. That's really ideal. Thank you. That's a, that's a good feature. Glad he fights to prove myself. Sparring match. I'm sure we can win that. Oh, we're... it's all going wrong. Everything has gone horribly wrong. Can you make a bloodline at least? There's no valid ambition for you to pick. What do you mean there's no valid ambition? Stop leading troops, you big idiot. How do I stop? Where's the stop leading? Oh, there it is. They've moved it. Okay. Rulership done. This is very annoying. Thank you. Okay, we've joined the... No ambition. Why? Sure, you're a worthy opponent. Whatever. We can't pick any ambitions now. Was that the only one we had available to us, I guess? And now I've cancelled it. It's on cooldown. Great. Okay. Military organization. Um, this is so bad. I think I'm just going to sit around and build up the world's biggest retinue. And then uh, reclaim what is rightfully mine. The birthright of Throog. Good news. We won the Holy War. Great. Now it belongs to Hels Almora Vadid. Uh, I, I'll more for you to die. Oh, that didn't really work at all, did it? I've, I've, this has killed me. This campaign has killed me right now. Uh, rig the camp. Sorry? Rig the election. There we go. Okay. Get me elected. I'm sick of being a crappy, crappy count all of a sudden. That's it. Put all the money in the campaign fund. They're, they're, yeah, I was going to say, they're immediately just going to hit it with their own campaign anyway. All right. Now we play. Oh, my God. What are you trying to do? What are you doing now? Defending against the Aztecs. And you're not going to be able to win that because you're crap. Oh, if only someone could help you out, huh? I'm going to hope she dies in war. Big old fat, horrible lady. You big old idiot. Oh, no way does she inherit the church. Oh, it goes with the Republic. Well, that's goddamn awful. I might as well preemptively just start landing my children with the goddamn church in that case. What a horrible mechanic. 
Um, this could lead to you becoming brave. Yes, thank you. I would like to become brave. Brave in the face of all adversity, which is... Oh my god, really? Vomiting and Craven, or we just gain the trait Craven. Brilliant. That's what's going really well. Kiev has converted. They've also turned their back on paganism. The unstemmable tide of Christianity and Islam are, are, are going to destroy us all. Well, at least we've got the trait in the army's shield. From the, because we were in a prison during the crusade. Well, that's ideal. Thank you. Um, to be fair, we've got 25 stewardship, 24 marshals. So it's not all bad. Let's find ourselves a wife. We will rebuild. From the ashes, we will return to power. Oh, I mean, I don't really have a choice. Otherwise, I might as well just say it's game over, right? Um, <laughs> what are we looking for? We're looking for a woman who is preferably married not. Who is preferably within Diplo range. Um, who is of good breeding stock. Uh, Christ, I guess her? Yagana? Here you go, send her a gift. Yagana, get married to me. <laughs> 10 out of 10. That was actually pretty good, you gotta admit. Right, welcome to court. You will do as a wife, I guess. And we count as a, a not a nobleborn, we just count as some shitty crap boy. So, this doesn't matter. We, won't, we shouldn't lose any prestige, right, marrying this woman. Um, oh, we lose 195. Wait, we're just a patrician, though. I thought we count as lowborn. Oh, who knows. Religious conversion? No. Good. Um, we give her a crappy artifact. Here, have a ruby scepter. Plus 30 opinion. Holy shit, that's actually pretty decent. Um, right, there we go. What a splendid object. You're welcome. Demand religious conversion? Yes. She's converted, and now we marry her. And everything is so much better. Um... Oh, we are the relative of the previous Grand Soul to you. Right, got it. Um, do you want to gain 590 gold or 25 prestige? You know what? I feel like that's an easy, that's an easy offer. Thank you. House Throug is going to be what I'm spending all the time and money on now. Let's get this thing upgraded as much as possible and just invest everything into that. Look, we've got a really good build time as well. Maybe we can get a copy of How to Build a Work. Can we compose a book? Can't compose a book. Mighty Dongo, you have failed me. But I will, however, still back your name. As a worthy follower of Dongo. How could everything go? So all my money's disappearing as well because we're being looted. Brilliant. What is that what is our what is our ruler doing about it? Our mighty ruler, head of the church, head of the empire. Nothing. About when I was emperor, this didn't happen. I mean I could raise my troops, I suppose. There we go. That's gonna help out. <clears throat> it's not. It's really not. She's pregnant though, which is a great start. Uh, we are winning the war against the Aztecs, to be fair. I suppose it is an Aztec, not the Aztecs, you know, not the Empire or anything. Bring back the Thrug army, bring them home. This is, this has killed me. This is, this is like Batman. This is Batman, uh, The Dark Knight Rises when he's in the pit. This is me right now in the pit. But I am going to climb out of the pit, metaphorically and physically. Um, I scarcely believe it. The pregnancy has made my wife look more beautiful than she ever was. 25% chance of getting the trait last fall. Give me that. God damn it. Didn't even get it. I'm so annoyed. Uh, we're going to fight this man and probably die. What sort of weakling are you? Yeah, come on, challenge me to a duel. We became close friends with that lady. Okay, I need to start building up my dueling prestige. Otherwise, we're never going to be able to get out of this rut. Right, bring the troops home. Let's at least counter siege the capital so we stop losing money all the time. To be fair, though, look at how much gold we've got, eh? We are very rich and powerful. Right, um, what do I want to go for now? I, I, honestly, I'm just going to upgrade everything. But we'll go for the map room first because that does give us some stats here and there. Uh, merchant port there. You can have a merchant port. You can have an upgraded merchant port. You can have a garrison because, honestly, why not? You can have a merchant port. Canarius can have a merchant port. Garrisons as well. Fine for the retinue size. Good. And that's all it took. Oh my god. Everything's building. We've still got loads of money left over. That's a son. Not a daughter. Not interested. We're going to call you... Um, go... 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 Re. It's, except it's G-O-R-I. That's how you actually pronounce it. It's like a new age name, right? Because I've sort of missed out. Is there any I've actually missed out at this point? I don't know if somebody wants to go back and watch all episodes. I, w I don't blame you if you don't. But if you do, if you can make me a nice graph of what I've missed out on in terms of uh, combinations of Igor, that would be great. That would be really, really helpful because I feel like I've, I've lost it all at this stage. Right. Okay, put the troops down. Are we actually, are we actually taking back the... Oh, it's already taken back. Right, good. The war's ended. Great. Okay. House Throog. See, she'll be the grave. It doesn't matter. It's not like we haven't got ridiculous amounts of cash. I'm going to keep upgrading. And my god, when we come back, we are going to be a powerhouse. I promise you.
under the guidance of Ogri the Just of House Throog. We have built ourselves up into a hell of a dynasty. He is a, he's a mighty warrior, but he is a mighty ruler. Something House Throog hasn't really had before. He's led us to glory, not in military conflict, but in rulership. We have earned many golds. Uh, well, in fact, our gold is quite low right now. Oh, it's because we're constantly at war. Because this prick, whoever the current king or ruler or queen or whoever it is, the Grand Soul to Gutella, this bloody idiot knob, keeps declaring loads of wars that she can't win. Look at this. Two more wars that we're about to lose, right? We're constantly under siege. My trade posts are constantly sieged down. We're not making any damn money because of this idiot, which is why I've got a plot against her, to kill her dead. And people are joining it. Um, kind of sporadic. This woman keeps leaving and rejoining. It's like 112% now. Then she'll leave. And then she'll come back again, and then she'll leave, and then she'll come back again. It's kind of a pain in the ass, but we have fully built up a retinue. It's not a very good retinue, but it is a retinue nonetheless of Berber cavalry, entirely light infantry troops. In fact, we can get one more there as well. Sweet. Okay. It's not huge, like I said. 3,200 Berber cavalry. Pretty good, though, when we want to go to war, right? We have slowly, over time, worked our way up through the, the ranks. Oh, okay. We're going to win the election as well, by the way, because I pumped a shit ton of gold into it. We are slowly working our way up through the ranks of the Children of the Storm so that hopefully we can find ourselves that brilliant bloodline. We have had, um, well, our wife was killed, by the way, by uh, Grand Saltigu Niz Nizhiba, who I don't know why. I don't know why she did that. It was very rude of her, all things considered. We had three sons, crap son, crap son, and finally, all right son, who I was educating, but seems to have forgotten to carry on educating. So uh, let's start that up again. Right, there we go. I don't know why. Maybe we were Regency for whatever reason. We are apparently... Winning a load of drinking competitions. It's, it's been an interesting few years of basically nothing happening but me building up the round. The house is the nicest house you've ever seen. Fully upgraded. The tray posts I've been very slowly over time upgrading as well. Generally going between them one by one. Upgrading the various buildings inside. Trying to mitigate the losses we're earning via war. Oh, it's, we're losing via war. Naturally we're not already earning much. Um, the losses being caused by horrible realm mismanagement. By the false pretender of the Grand Saltigus, this big shit, who I'm going to kill dead. Uh, we've got a favor against her. I suppose I could demand the position of Spymaster. I mean, that works. I suddenly broke 320% plot power. <laughs> ah, he's like Peter Baelish. We've worked up, we've built up our money, we've built up our power, and now we're going to exploit it and kill her. We're, we're going to kill her. Roman law? No, I don't want to be a commander. I want to kill you. It seems the wine did not agree with Grand Saltigu Teller. She died not knowing the name of her killer. I will celebrate with beer. We have been elected. The new Grand Prince of the Great Republic of Mali. We have returned after years of biding our time and waiting for the right moment to strike. We have strucken. Familiar Kinslayer? Was she a distant relative? Uh, absolutely not. No, she was really not. Familiar... Oh, because I burnt my nephew at the stake. Right, okay, understandable. I do remember that now. Um, a little bit annoying, but, you know, why are we not... Yeah, that's very annoying in hindsight. Okay, groom and heir. Let's go and marry a new genius woman in the hopes we can get ourselves a genius woman son. Rather, a great genius woman son? Uh, a genius woman daughter. Rather than a son, I should say. She'll do. Fuck it. Send gift. Here you go. Uh, bye, favor. Nope. Uh, okay. Oh, her sister is also in line to inherit anyway, so it doesn't matter. What about you? Send gift. Boom. Fight to court by favor. No, we, we need to have a 30 opinion before they'll actually agree to join us. What about you? Do you like money? Hello. I like money. No, okay. Uh, y you? Jesus, this. We're not doing well for choice, eh? Oh, well, let's, let's set up the council. Let's get everything sorted first. We've already got an heir. He's not great, but it's better than nothing. Right, steward. You, you know what you guys will do. Whatever. Um, improve relations. Oh, my God. 30 our grand vizier has. That's incredible. You build up the troops. You collect the taxes. I will tidy up these wars, because honestly, leaving the AI in charge has basically driven this republic into the frigging ground. We're at war with the Aztecs. We're at war with this man. Asturian Holy War for... Seriously? The... Have we lost any ground at all? I don't think we have, luckily enough. We haven't lost any land. Um, sorry, the Spirit Guardians seem to have all the land. Oh my god, we have lost land. I've never been so annoyed. Oh my god, the Abbasids. <laughs> um... Yeah, this is a bit of a mess, eh? Right, rata. Um, okay, this is gonna be it's gonna be kind of difficult. Okay, so first things first, compose a book. Write it about. Please, for the love of God, I need how to build a well. I need to know how to build that well sooner rather than later. Let's summon a lodge commander. Welcome, fellow warrior. Let's get everybody we can. Search for a smith. Um, forge me. Oh, what do we need? A deadly weapon? Some some jewels? Wait, did we get our? 
I don't understand why that would happen. Why would that be the case at all? What a stupid fucking mechanic. Wait, where's the church gone? Why did we not re-inherit the church? I don't understand. So they can inherit the church off of me, but we don't get it back. Well, that's good. That's good game mechanic. Nice one. History. Her. She's not only taken the friggin' church, she's also taken my fancy crown and my classical of poetry, which makes no sense. Right, you can die. Goodbye. Nice knowing you. Plot to kill. I'm gonna drown you in, in a pool of blood. Igor blood. Right, you can die, because you've, you've genuinely really annoyed me with this. Um... Find me some armor. We've already got a hat. We've already got a weapon. Fuck it. Excellent. Right. She can die. Oh my god. She can definitely die. Thank you. Fabulous. Get me my church back. Get me my crown back. She's gone. Find the armorsmith to court. Thank you very much. We've inherited everything back. Right. Are we back to where we were? Yes. The Whispering Crown. The Howling Tush Gavai Oh no wait. It was a classic of poetry or whatever we lost, didn't it? Oh well, It doesn't matter too much. Either way, we are back in control of the church that should be ours. I'm so annoyed by that. That doesn't make any sense why we wouldn't re-inherit it back seeing as they inherited it in the first place via the same mechanic. I'm in need of a strong and sturdy set of armor. Unfortunately, we don't have enough gold to really afford this, but we're going to do it anyway um, because I am a crazy boy. Jihad for Magrab. Oh, good. Just what I wanted to hear. Hang on. Wimp Magrab. Oh, they're going after the spirit guardians? How about that vassalization, eh? You guys, you guys suddenly up for that now? Mande. Thurugism. I mean, probably not then. Lose the trait just. Um, Grand Saltigu Ogri the just is no longer just. What he does in the privacy is forge is not my concern. Yeah, whatever. Let's just let him do it. Is he going to ask for another thousand gold to make it the best armor he can? I think we actually need the thousand gold before that's the case. Um, let's wait and see. Oh, okay. This person wants to fight. Now to convene with my agents. I walk away victorious or I will show no mercy. Time for you to die. I really want to make a bloodline. Yes, we got it. Thousand more gold to get the quality four armor. This is going to be ridiculous. We should probably go out and fight some wars then, eh? Okay. Very annoyed by that. By the way, this entire episode has gone. To be honest with you, but like it's all gone to shit. The entire Throog Dynasty has fallen apart, and I need to restore it to glory. We were doing so well, and now we've fallen from grace. You are my son, and you will obey me. That little ingrate. Right, he's going in the ocean as well. He's not the only one. Good lord. All right. Fight them and kill them dead. Who are our best commanders? Oh my god, are we not even... Wait. Oh, I forbid us from leading troops, didn't I? I was going to say, are we really that bad? Um, where's the button? There we go. 29 Marshall. Yes, get us on the center. We're not quite as good as our mother, Eagle, but we are pretty damn good either way. Eagle way. Our son, Ogre, is now our heir. He's not incredibly good. He might turn out okay in Marshall. It's kind of a bit risky. Um, who wants to educate him? Me? I will. Um, we've only got one ward. Why does he keep stopping this education? Is that why we inherited a new title? I'm not entirely sure, but it's driving me mad. Um, you'll be also trained in Marshall. Uh, yeah, I mean, a new wife definitely wouldn't go amiss. Eh? Let's see what we can find now. Right. Uh, should, can we give her an artifact? I don't want to, but I feel like I haven't really got a choice. Yeah, I have a magnificent painting. For Oh, no, don't give it to her. She's the one whose sister is the... Fuck. I just gave away a magnificent painting, and I'm not going to gain anything from it. May the canary-headed man see these people into the afterlife. The Aztecs are apparently... Oh, my God. So, do we need that many pop-ups? Was that necessary at all? Oh, they're in the fucking capital now. Thankfully, they didn't lose too much. Yeah, whatever. Wait, what? We didn't get our armor? I'm feeling very salt. Just extreme salt right now. Everything is falling apart. I mean, it's nothing I can't fix, but my God, this is annoying. This is, like, genuinely so annoying. Right. Get the fuck out of my capital. Hey, get out of there. D Naughty Aztecs. Not here. Not today. Get out. Right, that's what I thought. 17%. Right, now we've got to go deal with the other Aztecs as well. I had these Aztecs in their place. Eagle Throog had dealt with them. And since Eagle Throog's demise, we have... Old African heretics. They won't be old for much longer when I execute them dead. Right, go and deal with these boys as well. Hey, get out. Get out. This isn't your... Okay, right. Let's bring all these troops together. Right, let's go and try and make a stand on the stra uh, on the Strait of Gibraltar here. Try and hold our own a little bit. Someone's trying to kill Gory. I don't blame them because he's a big dick. Right, you guys can go. Chase those ones down now. Um, where are they heading? Where the fuck are they going? I think this is friendship. Sure, why not? They're going apparently over here. Hail veteran. Yep, good for you. How have these guys got so much war score? What have they taken? What are you after? Valencia? Where? Why have we got that? I don't want that. Oh, it's one of my vassals. I don't give a shit. 
No, surrender that one out. I don't care about this one. Surrender. Yep, take it. It's worthless to me anyway. Goodbye. You can keep that. I don't know why we took that anyway. Talk about stupid ideas. Good lord. There's no wonder they wanted it back so desperately. Right, now we can focus on the big dicks that are still here. Right, you guys can go now. Thank you for turning up, but it's, it's been a fun war and everything, but I'd like you to leave. Ogre becomes ambitious. Sure, fine. Right, get rid of you. Assault this shit down. No, no, no. Stop. Assault this down. No pop-ups. Alright, I'm sick of this popping up. Go away. There we go. Only in the log. Yeah, that's all I care about now. Right, you're gone. Um, where is the capital? Is it this one? Oh my god, these Aztecs are everywhere. Well, we need to, I need to slow down a bit and unify, but honestly, I'm so triggered by this. This is, this has actually triggered me. The Myophysite Phase Triumph. In other, here's a list of things I don't care about. It includes that. Uh, demand monetary compensation. Sure, that, he's a pirate. He's a big old pirate. Coming from the Raider. Right, get over there. Kill them all. Thank you. Ma sacrifice him. We'll show the Aztecs who's better at sacrificing. That's right. Igor Throog. Rebels. The rebels are all going to die. I'm going to kill every rebel with my bare hands. We can accept a title. Okay, sure. I mean, we've got to take that land back anyway. What a state. How does this happen? This is... Like, the AI is just monumentally bad at this game. Like, why did they even take that province over there? There's no wonder these Aztecs have gone, come for us. Right. Hit the capital. This should be the end of this war then at that point. Right, we can't assault it down, luckily enough. 100%. Right, glory to the Thunder God and all that. Thank you. Enforce demands. Perfect. Okay, let's go deal with these rebels, and then I think we're back up on our feet for a while. And I can try and tidy up the realm that's fallen apart. Apparently the spirit guardians have got a bit big for their boots as well. Right, bring them home. Good lord, where's this other rebellion? Oh, it's all the way down there. Good. Easy to deal with then. I like it. Right, bring these boys down. We'll take out the northern African ones first, and then we'll head all the way down the sub-Saharan routes. Deal with the other ones. Unbelievable. Everything's dealt with. We've got 7,300 gold in the bank. I think all of our vassals more or less hate us at this stage, which isn't ideal. I've got a lot of realm management to do next time. We've got to tidy up the rest of Africa, seeing as apparently we've lost a fair amount of land here. Ziz, Shil, Massa. We've got the, the Agla, uh, Ag Aglabede there. We've got to tidy this up. And then we've got to check out the Abbasids. God knows how the hell we're going to do that, seeing as they own all of Persia, all of the Middle East, all of the Arabian Peninsula, and most of Africa as well. This is going to be a hell of a fight with these guys. 50,000 men. With our gold, we could probably just take them out. The Aztecs need to be dealt a lesson as well. Even if we just break up their empire some China. That's how we'll do it. I never even thought about China. Send them Jamal, my good son. I don't want to send them Jamal, my good son. Um, He's crap. He's crap. Oh my god, this is so bad. Right, okay, we need to get a wife. But then I'm thinking we go invasion. 5,000 grace. We break up the Aztecs. I can deal with the Abbasids. The Aztecs, though, are a different kettle of fish. They've got 53,000 men, and they're also far more aggressive because of their more uh, bloodthirsty gods. Let's put it that way. This guy is actually a hemophiliac right now. Good. Thank you all for watching. A big shout out to my insane top tier level patrons Big Dick Timmy, Zachary Harris, Harik, Lucas Halting, Sean Thornton, Haydock, Necrophilin, Croesus, I'm the Lizard King, Josh Lynn, Dean Tesla, Michael Mullen, Jacob Alexander Fenton, Pelvis Presley, Logan Thorne, Conspired C, Orcs Wolf, Average Gamer 419, Escape, Zazzy 7011, and Jackson Women for the support of the insane tier levels on Patreon. Thank you all for your support over there. My god, what a stressful episode. Oh, wait, hang on. And a thank you to... <laughs> We're not done yet. Nathaniel Lindbergh, Sidini, Brandon Matoniak, Euphrates, Facundo Vasquez, Paul Master, Quasar Fox, Jack Allen, Gabriel Vendors, Luana Thomas, Nathan Flores, Yoran DeVries, John Connie 2 and 7, Zach McDougall, Joseph Beer, Jordan Campbell, Harry McGowan, Chris, Sir Thor the Swede, Asaro, Nick, Fraser Brennan, The Insane Pickle, Adam Person, and Igor Kozak for their support on Patreon as well. Thank you all for that.